A dramatic spike in crime has prompted the U.S. State Department to raise their travel advisory from level one to level two. Visitors exercise increased caution. The U.S. Embassy in the Bahamas says there have been 18 murders in the capital of Nassau within the first few weeks of 2024, some in broad daylight with retaliatory gang violence as the primary motive. Honestly, kind of shocked that they were even having to do this video. We just left Nassau, Bahamas. We were on the MSC seashore. We saw the new port. And as soon as we get back, we run into this news story. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome to Cruise News with Cruise RX, your cruise prescription. As always, please be sure to like this video, give us a thumbs up. Most importantly, click that notification button so that you know every time that we post a video. Now, also, please be sure that you add your comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts about NASA. Have you been? Did you experience any kind of threats or did you notice anything? As I mentioned earlier in the video, we just left Nassau, Bahamas. We were on the MSC seashore, so we've got lots of videos coming. But when we got back, we ran into this news story about the Nassau, Bahamas crime and 18 murders that have taken place. And it's interesting because when we were at the port, we were filming the port uh, for an upcoming video, and it's very nice. They've redone it, totally rebuilt it. But we noticed that there were a lot of police presence and that there was tight security around the port. And, and we shot part of that. And I'm going to show you that clip unedited shortly um, because it was something that we took notice of because it was totally unusual. It's not like on previous visits to Nassau. Of course, it wasn't all this new structure, but it was pretty much wide open at the port. And you could just wander, you know, right into the town, right by Senor Frogs. That is now all fenced off. Um, now, first and foremost, too, this does not affect any of the private islands. So if you're on World Caribbean or if you're on MSC and you're going to the private islands, this is no bearing on that whatsoever. Those islands are private, obviously, and they are secure. So this strictly revolves around Nassau. So on January 26th, the U.S. Embassy in Nassau issued a level two warning because of 18 murders that have taken place so far in the month of January. They say that these are all gang related and that they are taking place in broad daylight and that they are taking place in tourist and non-tourist areas. We did scour some of our other fellow YouTubers videos. There were some comments where a couple folks felt threatened where they were harassed to get some money. Um, they weren't ultimately attacked or anything like that. But they did comment that it was something different and unique on that visit. So the State Department does also advise that you do not resist if you run into any threats while you're in the port. So it's a shame that NASA is having to experience this. The Bahamian people are awesome people. Um, certainly, they're dealing with gang violence. We have to deal with that here. Uh, the real downside and tragedy for these folks is that they rely heavily on tourism. And this kind of thing can impact how much people go visit outside the port, uh, how much money they spend. And, you know, that can have a lot of negative impact on families. So if you go to Nassau, our thoughts are this. If you do an excursion, make sure that you do only an excursion that is coordinated via the cruise line. Number one, if the excursion is late back to the port, uh, they will wait for you. If it's not with the cruise line and you're late back to the port, the ship will leave you. Uh, number two, the cruise lines vet these, these providers. They know who they are. They're safe. Um, so it's, there are a bunch of excursion providers at the port. So when you get off the ship, you see a bunch of people with signs trying to get you to go on their excursions. Whatever you do, we always recommend 
even though it does cost a little bit more money, go ahead and go on excursions that are only arranged via the cruise line. So as I mentioned earlier, here's that video clip that we shot while we were at the port. And again, we were just walking around shooting video for upcoming uh, videos that we're, we're going to launch. And we were commenting on the security, uh, the perimeter fence and how it had changed. So anyway, here's the video. We are uh, standing at the uh, Nassau port and this is the pretty much the perimeter. So they still have, that is the straw market that is still open now the problem with going outside the port is crime you run the risk of pickpockets uh, there have been other crimes the the port they built the port like this to secure it so you can see the fencing there are police everywhere along the outside of the perimeter uh, there are bars food inside the port so unless you really, really feel the need to go to the straw market, I would caution you against leaving the port. Be careful if you do. If you do an excursion, make sure it's one that's booked through the cruise ship. So we had heard about pickpockets and, and other things like that. It wasn't until we got back um, that we heard about the murders and, and the State Department warning came out um, after our trip so that is it for this video we have like i mentioned we were on the msc seashore so we have a full yacht club and retreat comparison video coming out as well as a full ship review of the msc seashore and the port of nassau so stay tuned for those and as always we look forward to seeing you in the next video